Yo gang, welcome back. I am here to talk to you guys today about another concealed carry option, which is the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus 9mm. I'm excited, this was once in my rotation. So stick around, don't go far, and we are gonna talk about it. All right, we are in a safe and controlled environment. We are at a gun range. Our range officer is at post, right beyond the truck. Thank you guys for joining me. And yes, we are talking about this beautiful little micro compact Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. She is quite decent in the hand. She has a nice feel. She comes with two magazines. She has a 13 round single to double stack magazine. Just give you that vision right there or that view of how she looks with that extended mag. And I am going to give you the view with the flush magazine that gives you 10 plus one. Now, let's do a quick clear check. The firearm is clear. There's nothing in the chamber and let's talk about her. Now let's go from top to bottom. She is equipped with the standard Smith & Wesson White's front and rear sights. She is a she has a 6.1 inch in total length. She has a 3.1 inch barrel. She has a polymer frame with the upgraded Smith & Wesson flat trigger. Now, I am excited about that because uh I wasn't feeling too much the um, the older triggers that they had, so this is a a good option that they did, and I very much so appreciate it. She has a polymer frame. I do tell you that Smith and Wesson does have quite aggressive grips, but because she's so small, I'm okay with it. Um, her slide and her barrel is stainless steel, and it it is um, coated in the Armor Flex. Not Armor Flex, is it? Armor, Armor Knight, not Armor Flex, Armor Knight. And she's cool. I like her. She does not have a thumb safety on either side, but she has a left side mag release and the mag drops very effortlessly, which is cool for a speedy reload if needed. She's a nice feel. The sights are well, like I said, but with that being said, let's get ready to shoot. All right, we are shooting Turan 115 grain full metal jacket. We're gonna take the extended magazine first. Let's shoot. Let's drop that slide. Nice. shot her before so I already know um, what to expect so it really wasn't no first impression shoots but yes I definitely remember why this was in my rotation now let's try the flush magazine I have issues with the flush magazine because I have pinky hangover and I don't like that so and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean See that? I don't like that. But we're gonna let it go anyway. Man, these mosquitoes have been horrible since it's rained. Yes. Okay, what do you guys think so far? She all right with me. Okay, so let's load her back up. She's 17.6 ounces. Oh, 17.9 ounces unloaded. So she doesn't have major weight to her. She has a, a nice concealable weight and size. All right, let's go back to the extended mag. Mosquitoes having a field day. All right, let's drop that slide that way. Nice. Ah. 
Wonder what happened. The actual trigger her. was it actually pulled as if there was one chambered, but nothing came out. Fly didn't even lock back. Not sure. Let's get this flush mag. And I'm gonna rack the slide manually. That didn't sit properly. This is over full. All right, much better. Mm. Again, see that pinky, pinky hang off? Not feeling that. Mosquitoes! All right, slide lock back that time, she is clear. Yes, this was in my rotation. I enjoy it even though the grip is much more aggressive than what I would like it to be, but because she's so compact, uh, I guess it kind of balances itself out but she's a good choice all right we're going to bring back the flush mag for concealment um i see a lot of people choosing this magazine but if you can get three more why not um just to complete your 13 but that's how it looks so it's it's extra compact all right she's clear extended mag 13 I'm gonna manually release the slide. That was nice. did it again I'm not sure why the magazine is empty the slide did not lock back and there is nothing in the chamber odd but that's she's hot she's clear the Smith & Wesson shield plus nine millimeter sure why that extended magazine is not firing that last round well there is no last round and it's not locking the slide back see it did it again but with the flush magazine. I am not sure, but anyway, <laughs> no problems while shooting, definitely not. All right, we got two magazines left. Let's go finish them up. Man, these mosquitoes ain't playing.
she's clear. And let's talk about exactly why she was in my rotation. Not sure why I keep saying it was in my rotation. It's in my rotation and I relatively choose my firearms based on what it is that I'm wearing, where I'm going and uh, how active I'm going to be at that moment. Now, as far as the grip being aggressive, if I was going somewhere that was more warmer and um, I knew my hands would be a little sweatier and if I had to pretty much draw and protect myself, this would be one of my options because the grip is more aggressive and a day like today where it is so humid and hot, the while I was shooting, my hands were getting a little sweatier and I did not lose control one bit with this firearm. So this would be a option. The Smith & Wesson Shield Plus chambered in nine millimeter. What do you think about it? Do anybody have one? Let me know in the comments if you own one and how you feel about it. But as far as this goes, it's all right with me. I enjoyed it very much so to tonight, today. But Yoke Gang, listen. If you have not checked out www.yokegang.com, make sure that you do pick up a gun bag patch or even a t-shirt. Support the channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much. If, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you guys again. This is not goodbye. This is definitely see, definitely see you later. I love y'all to pieces. Peace.